Rejection is harder if you haven't made friends with your failure. <laughs> so I'll say it again. Rejection is harder if you haven't made friends with your failure. And I realized this today. I was thinking about my friend. This is a bit of a story. So my friend's been going through a bit of a tough time lately. And I was just walking by his parents' house and thinking about him. And um, I saw him a week ago at a dance event. And uh, he was kind of in a weird place. I could tell that he felt a bit out of place. And that there's this girl there that he, he likes, he's interested in. He always tries to dance with her and she always turns him down. And he takes it really hard every time. And yeah, I was thinking about that and just how, and then I, I kind of thought about in my own life, if I'm like doing something and I'm not attached to the outcome and it doesn't work out, it's no big deal, right? Like failure is only significant if I'm invested in what I'm doing. If I have a desire to achieve something in particular, that's when the failure really matters. Like to me, to my soul. I mean, the outcomes of it still might matter to other people or the world. But in terms of like the wisdom of the soul that I can gain, it's much more potent if it actually matters to me what happens. And that's, a, that's kind of a weird thing to say because we're not supposed to be attached to outcomes, but being attached to some kind of outcome can, um, and being able to let go of that attachment is, is where the real wisdom is. Uh, that's the power of failure. And the power of making friends with failure is being okay with what's happening, what's, what, the way things are. You did your best and it didn't work out the way you maybe wanted it to, but you keep, you know, you take the lesson and you keep going. And you, you think of it as sort of like a step on your path, even if it looks like an obstacle. It looks like your obstacle, but actually it's the way forward for you. And you just can't see how that is. So, yeah, um, it made me realize like he was taking this really hard because he's invested. You know, he's interested in this girl. He likes the way he feels when he sees her. He likes the way he feels when he's close to her and it's not working out and he's really attached to having things go a certain way and when they don't it really hurts and i can see it and i can see it because i've felt the same thing in different situations and and i was just thinking like wow like i guess he just hasn't made friends with this kind of failure yet like this sort of <laughs> romantic failure and I think that's why rejection is especially potent uh, for a lot of men for most men actually I mean almost everyone I know and probably for women as well I don't can't speak to it as, as personally because I haven't dived in with as many of my female friends about this but like rejection hurts because you care like if you fail at something that you don't care about doesn't matter but if you fail at Asking the girl to dance with you and she doesn't want to dance with you or asking someone out and they don't want to go out with you or trying to get someone's number or all these little things. They sting a bit more because desire is present. And I think that's beautiful. Like desire should be present. And it's also beautiful to be able to move on and let it go. And that's the real wisdom of making friends with your failures. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit and share my insight with you. Thank you. So walking around, I realize there's a little bit more that I'd like to say about failure. And that is failure can be a couple of different things. Could be that uh, what you're desiring to manifest is just out of alignment. It's just not being recognized by the rest of the universe. And, and therefore, it's not being supported by the environment. That's one possibility. Another possibility, and this could isn't necessarily separate from the first, is that the failure you're perceiving is actually the way to your success. So it's kind of um, it's not the way a lot of us are trained to think by society about how things actually work, but 
by understanding, comprehending, and being present with the failure that can lead you to the place where ultimately you succeed. And yeah, very often that's exactly how it works. Uh, unless everything's already, you know, unless you're at the point where you, you succeed, you don't need to experience the failure. But if you do, uh, that failure is there to teach you something. It's part of the path so that having gone through it, you can move to the next place, which will eventually lead you to your desires, what you've been manifesting. So, yeah. And it can be pretty hard to tell the difference, but the way through is the same. It's to accept and move forward and reassess and, yeah, get right with yourself, see how your desires are, uh, once you've experienced the setback and then just know that the obstacle actually is the blessing. So whatever it is, it looks like a problem is the thing that's demanding your attention. And once you're able to navigate it, it's never going to be a problem for you again.